Hello and welcome to this very special KSP video. Today we are previewing the final KSP update, the 1.12 dubbed on final approach. It has been 10 years since KSP came out and a wonderful 10 years it has been. KSP was actually the main reason why I started making videos as back as I'm sure most of you guys watched guys like Scott Manley and his interstellar quest and wanted to be a part of the adventure. I can say that that was the case for me. And now, 10 years later, we get a final release. What can I say? It's an end of an era. Now, let's take a look into the 112 and all the goodies it has to offer. First, fireworks. Let's face it, fireworks have always been a part of the KSP since day one. However, they mostly happened as an unintended side effect rather than a planned thing. However, 10 years later, squads have granted us with a real fireworks display, and by that I do not mean your rocket designs going bananas. But this time actual fireworks where you can customize the effects. It comes in two form factors, with 8 bursts and other with 32 bursts. You can customize them to your heart's content with trail and burst colors, types, force, duration, delay and whatnot. So great variety, but more predictable than a coupler or a an engine firing off to Earth. Then we have the slimsuit. Nowadays with SpaceX being all the rage it would have been a missed opportunity for the KSP not to sport a SpaceX-like suits for our Kerbonauts. They really look cool and I for sure will be using them in my playthroughs. Then we have the new and revamped parts. First being the solar panels. The 1x5 solar panel is now introduced in both the cased and the uncased variants. The two circular photovoltaic panels have been added, also cased and uncased variants that look like the circular solar panels intended for the Orion spacecraft. They really look awesome. Then we have the Stampatron ground anchor. This is something that has been long requested and was a part of the mod Kerbal attachment system. It is essentially a ground anchor that can be used for a Kerbal's inventory and once deployed it, it will anchor itself to the planetary body where it was deployed and provide a solid base to build upon. Now, I have been notified from squad actually that they have taken the ground anchor out of the 1.12 release due to a bug, however, that it shall be reinstated in the 12.1 patch, just in case you were, guys were wondering where it is, where is it. Then we have the docking ports have received some much needed love in terms of adding lights, aesthetic changes and the much needed ability to rotate. Yes folks, you heard it right. No more eye twitching OCD inducing dockings that are missed by 0.5 degrees in the rotation. Now the docking ports have rotating docking port colors meaning that you can rotate the port and attach craft to your heart's content. This applies to all docking ports including the Clampotron docking ports including Janet Junior and Senior variants as well as the shielded one. And the aircraft version, by here I mean the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 of the same. In addition, apparently the wheels have undergone a major tuning with some additional tweakable controls that will hopefully make them harder to flip. However, I would not underestimate the power of the KSP community. I fully expect shortly after 1.12 comes out that some guy will do a video on a KSP 1.12 rover being flipped like a burger in, at Burger King. Just wait and see. Enough with the parts. When it comes to the visual eye candy, Paul and Elu have gotten some much needed high quality textures and shaders. How do they look? I will leave you to be the judge of that while you take a look at one of my landers exploring a good landing zone only to deploy a sizable bunch of planet sized experiments. And of course, I saved the best for last. Two important game mechanics and features that have been sorely missing in KSP, at least in my opinion they were. First being the Kerbal Alarm Clock. The mere fact that this was not in-game long ago baffled me to this day. 
Let me know in the comments how many times have you accelerated the time through a critical maneuver node just because you were a little too trigger happy and wanted to get to the good stuff. Previously that has been fixed by a Kerbal Alarm Clock mod, uh, one that I consider essential in all of my playthroughs, and it is so nice to see it being made stock. You can set the alarms as you wish, but the most useful ones, ones are on the sphere of influence changes, maneuver node burns, or the planetary transfer windows, which brings me to the next major update. Yes, planetary transfer window planner. I know most of the hardcore KSP crowd already calculate the delta V and the time of year and the date when you should be doing your planetary transfers to Duna, Eve, Jewel and Drez, although who would want to go to Drez? Seriously? However, now it is possible to have a maneuver creator plot an interplanetary transfer so that you can add an alarm and know when to burn to get your planetary body of choice. I did test it and while I appreciate the functionality, honestly I felt it a little bit lacking and limited, especially when compared to all the trigger AU transfer window planner. It looks nicer, sure, but setting it up transfers where I, I have very little control on how it will look does pose some challenges. Also, the important piece of information that was released is that the squad are turning now their attention to the KSP2, and although this is my speculation only, I'm hoping that means that KSP2 has now matured to the point where the core physics and systems are working as intended, and now the things being added are the components from the base KSP. I for sure am looking forward to at least Roverdude joining and working with KSP2 dev team, well at least I hope he's there, and he has been driving force behind many updates in terms of visual design and eye candy we have enjoyed over the last couple of years. I cannot wait to see what he has to offer and the other members of the squad will be able to contribute to the KSP2. Well, all in all, I hope you guys like my little preview of the KSP 1.12 and I shall see you in my future videos. Thank you very much for watching. This is Gromforks, signing off.